Some breaking news to get to on this Tuesday. You're watching Philadelphia 76ers now by Chat Sports. I'm Chase Sr. According to Adrian Wojnarowski, multiple reports out there. James Harden, because of him calling Daryl Morey a liar, has been fined by the NBA. We had an indication that the NBA was going to step in at some point. Last week, it was their investigation, and now they are putting down a penalty on James Harden. Before we take a look at all this, break it down, take a look at what it means, this is why you subscribe to the show. It's the offseason for the NBA, right? We're still giving you content, though. And when breaking news happens, we talk about it here on the program. Let's get to 12,000 subscribers. As you can see here to my right, we are less than 300 people away from our continued growth here on the channel. So, James Harden fined $100,000 by the NBA that message coming out just moments ago from the NBA in their press release, but also Shams Charania, Adrian Wojnarowski, and some of the local reporters who do cover the Sixers. Adrian Wojnarowski saying this on Twitter, that the NBA fining Sixers star James Harden $100,000 for his recent comments referring to franchise president Daryl Morey as a liar, sources tell ESPN. Now, when I saw this, I wasn't sure what the legality was. Why is James Harden being penalized for speaking his mind? Well, let's try to make sense of it because this was the press release from the National Basketball Association. It goes as such. Philadelphia 76ers guard James Harden has been fined $100,000 by the NBA for public comments on August 14th and 17th, indicating that he would not perform the services called for under his player contract unless confirmed that these comments reference Harden's belief that the 76ers would not accommodate his request to be traded. So a lot of legal verbiage there, and it doesn't really give us a clear indication as to what exactly it means and why Harden is being penalized. So that leads me to believe that the NBA understands that this is a player-driven league, that maybe the player empowerment era has become a little bit of a problem as athletes have gotten too much power, and the NBA wants to rein it in a little bit, especially given James Harden's history with Houston, with Brooklyn, now Philadelphia, and he doesn't want repeat acts like this where James Harden or another basketball player at an event somewhere, in Harden's case in China, can just lash out on the president of basketball operations for an organization and say, I will never play for him again. And he's a liar. Now, I'm not sure that Harden calling Maury a liar is what the issue is here. I think more so what it is is James Harden. You opted into your contract. You have one year left on your deal. $35.5 million. You could have not opted in. And that would have allowed you to become a free agent. You opted in. And now we're not going to let you determine your fate of who you're going to play for or not in saying that I will never play for Daryl Morey again. So I think that's what the NBA saw here. And they understood they had to take control in some way, shape, or form. Now, obviously, over the last couple of weeks, last several days, 76ers rumors, they've been hanging up in the air after James Harden called Daryl Morey a liar. And some thought that Harden had said that at that event in China because Morey pulled back on a handshake deal that he was going to give Harden a contract extension. The NBA investigated this matter, and they found no evidence of that, and James Harden even said himself. He said those words because Maury told him that he would trade him, and then he backtracked on that because we talked about that report here on the show that the Sixers no longer had plans to trade Harden. They wanted to bring him back, and the Sixers' plans changed. So in Harden's eyes, Daryl Morey told me I was going to get dealt. Now they're saying I'm not going to get dealt any longer. Daryl Morey is a liar. I don't want to play for him. It's childish for him to pout like that, but this is the track record for Harden here. Clearly, Harden is fed up with Philadelphia. But if you think about it, he's fed up with Philadelphia over maybe not giving him a long-term deal, Philadelphia not trading him. He wants to go to one team, and that one team is, is the Los Angeles Clippers. He also should realize that he's a diminishing asset and a declining player who's still very productive but still declining. 
and no other teams wanted to give him a long-term deal with lofty cash in free agency. That's partially why, in my opinion, he opted in. But he's annoyed with Philadelphia here. Shouldn't he be annoyed with the Los Angeles Clippers, the one team that he wants to go to? Because the Clippers are the team that haven't offered the Sixers a quality deal to bring in James Harden. And are they desperate to have Harden? Clearly not. Otherwise, they would be willing to make this deal and add some pieces into that trade to appease Philadelphia because we know Daryl Morey is not going to take cents on the dollar. And it's also crazy to me, and I've talked about this a little bit before, how Daryl Morey is the one guy who has always had James Harden's back, and now Harden is severing that relationship because he's in his feelings. He's a little bit delusional in my opinion. Great player, but a little bit delusional is James Harden. Now, that's the heart in front of this entire conversation. Let's spend a couple of moments talking about Joel Embiid here as well because rumors do continue to circulate after the situation with Harden about Embiid's future. And Vincent Goodwill of Yahoo Sports had this report yesterday on Monday that many around the league believe that Embiid will ask out sooner rather than later. And this is interesting. A full rebuild is what Daryl Morey is covertly hoping for. Now, what I think Philadelphia's plans are, and it's the plan that we've talked about throughout this offseason, you let Harden's deal expire, $36.5 million. You let Tobias's Har or Tobias Harris's contract excuse me, expire as well. That's close to $40 million. You add those two deals up, that's almost $80 million in cap space. I think Daryl Morey wants that money at his disposal so that he could use that next offseason in free agency to try to surround Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey with the star. Because I'll tell you this, Sixers fans, after seeing the process and how that played out, and having not seen this team made it past the second round since 2001, including a couple of heartbreaking playoff defeats over the last couple of years during this Joel Embiid era, I don't think they trust Daryl Morey to right the ship with the rebuilding process. Daryl Morey has always operated well when he has a bona fide superstar. So if Morey covertly, according to Vincent Goodwill, wants a rebuild here, and trading Joel Embiid is the first step in that, that signals to me that would be a full rebuild. It's not a retinker. It's not a partial rebuild. You trade Joel Embiid, that is a full-on rebuild for Philadelphia next offseason, or maybe this offseason, if that's Daryl Morey's plans. Now, what I would do, see how this season goes. Joel Embiid wants to come into this season in great shape. I think that Tyrese Maxey, all the clips that I've been seeing throughout this offseason, he looks great, adding some offensive moves and some dribble packages to his bag. See what he can do in the emergence that could take place with Tyrese Maxey, some of the steps that he'd be able to make as well. See how far you can go. And if you have another playoff flame out, tell Joel Embiid, look, okay, we understand you're frustrated. Things haven't gone your way in the NBA playoffs, but we have about $80 million in cap space with Harden and Tobias Harris off the books. Maxi has shown that he can be one of your co-stars, and we could bring in another really good player, two or three players, and let's go all in. And that there would be a retinker and not a full rebuild. So, as always, let me know what your thoughts on this situation are down in the comment section here. Just wanted to hop on the mic and obviously relay the latest as far as this situation goes. And make sure you subscribe because whatever comes out, we'll talk about it here on 76ers Now. Appreciate everybody for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Make sure you subscribe to the show. You see the link down below. Uh, throughout this video. It's youtube.com slash 76ers TV, and we'll catch you next time here on the program.